currently up above the streets and houses on my way to Kigali, so I thought I'd show you some fun things. When I was staying with my dad in Gloucester, we went for a walk around Treadworth. It's a slightly run-down area, which has been given a fresh burst of life by local street artists. Shops and private homes request to have a makeover with beautiful results. Let's do a speed run through them. This is a chicken takeout shop painted by local business Paper Wall Signs. It incorporates 11 different patterns to reflect the area's multiculturalism. This is the local co-op painted by artists Mint and Mabel and incorporating art and words from the local junior school. Whilst walking around, we found a little brochure outside a house that explained exactly what each of the paintings were and gave a walking map to help us to find them all. It's such a cool idea and really brightens up the neighbourhood. This one is titled Everyone is Different by Kent-based artist Luke Smile. It reads, everyone is different, but the heart is the same. There's also a Jamaican flag in the corner in recognition of the city's Caribbean community. Just over the road is a mural painted by local artists Stuart Doust and Mikey Steele. Further down the street, we have one based on an optical illusion by Polly Merigi. And the project also revamped the remains of traditional shop signs from the turn of the century. They're called ghost signs because they're so faded. This one is from a 1915 sweet shop, restored by local sign painter Dawn Evans. This is called the Cascade of Flowers, inspired by Islamic art and painted by artist Niron. All along the street, people have accented their houses with colour. Here's the World Fruit Mural, showing the national fruits of all of the cultures within the Barton and Treadworth community. It's painted by Hazard One, and definitely one of the most intricate. This one displays the winners of a school art competition with entrance from seven local schools. Next to it is one of my favourites, the Cat Corner, showing cats from around the world, painted by Gloucester artist Murmur. We spent a long time looking at all of the different designs and a guy stopped to tell us how much he enjoyed it and how much it cheered up the neighbourhood. I'm not sure if this is part of the main exhibit as I can't see it listed but it's still really cool. We took a wander back past the allotments and an inner city farm. They've got welcome written in lots of different languages along the fence. Oh, passion flowers. Oh, they've got passion fruit growing on them. The path brought us out next to the fox and kingfisher mural, inspired by local wildlife and painted by artist Sian Story. Here's another ghost sign from 1905, restored by local sign writer Mark Cunningham. You can still faintly see the original behind. And last but definitely not least, there's this beautiful mural celebrating the Caribbean community with the tagline, Out of Many, One People, by Katie Scott. Let me know which one was your favourite in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this tour, please consider a like and subscribe.